Clintonese. I will tell you from records that from 2018 to now, Germany alone deported, deported more than 500 Gambians. And 90% uh, of these, num uh, these deportees, I'm in contact with them personally. I even form WhatsApp groups whereby I try to help them, to, you know, inform them about their reintegration rights in Germany and, and try to put them in contact with some stakeholders in Germany. But to come back to your question, you know, uh, out of these people, more than five in Germany alone, you know, none of them ever receive a single support from the Gambia government, from the central government. Okay, basically, the, the, the little support that they do receive is like a form of a um, support in kind from GIZ project in Zambia, sometime IOM. And in fact, IOM is always reluctant telling them that we only support uh, re um, voluntary returnees, but not deportees. So basically, uh, that cap capacity, the capacity to reintegrate these people is not there, one. Two, another important thing that we or we as concerned citizens uh, uh, is that uh, the, the security threat, deportation goes with security threat. Uh, I will give you classical examples. A uh, few years ago, I think two years ago, if memory serves me well, a deportee, killed, a deportee from Germany killed his father because he came home with mental issues. His own biological father, you know, doing nothing to him because of the frustration, because of the mental issue he was suffering from. He just took a mole block and hit on uh, the head of his father. More than 500 Gambians have been deported from 2017 to date, following an agreement deal signed between the European Union and the government of the Gambia. We spoke to Nima Jadama, who is a board member and focal person for Germany and European coalition of migrants and refugees. She stressed that not every Gambian that is deported has a criminal record. I would say very few. In this case, I would say less than 1%. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, to take you back a bit, when you look at the asylum system, if you apply for asylum, um, you are entitled to asylum as well as you are entitled to rejection. And if your asylum has been rejected, um, you have every right, I think, up to three times to go to court. But this court also has procedures. So if you don't fulfill all of this, at the end, you ended up de being deported. Yes, some could be maybe um, because they're involved in criminal activities. But if you look at the record of Gambian asylum seekers, I'll talk of Germany. Um, we have a very few that are involved in criminal records. Um, of course, when it comes to maybe um, drug dealing, I mean, selling uh, weed also out of um, to ends meet, because um ninety five percent of Gambian asylum seekers, their asylum has been rejected. And if your asylum is rejected, that comes as well with consequences. And one of the consequences is that you don't get access to social life to like very social benefits. You don't get money from the government. You don't get a place to sleep. like you can you don't have anything. And of course, as Gambians, we know we're like, I wouldn't want to go back home. I'd rather sit here. So what you do is you ended up on the street and sell whatever do whatever that you think could get you money or survival needs. Mm -hmm. And in this case, if you were caught, then the law would take it to cause, and this is how most of them are defined as criminal cases, but not in, 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 in the broad way of thinking of the criminalities that maybe they might be involved in. I mean, so far from my knowledge, because I have worked as a social worker, I've worked out with, with the Refugee Council in South Germany. Um, and I mean, my focus was mostly on Gambians and Gambian cases. And uh, from what we find out more, it's not really about involving in criminal issues like um, um, robbery, killing or so on. But then it has to do like trying to find end mates and then they ended up in jail. Um, so some of most of them, you know, they said um, most of them, but I would say some of them and very few are involved in such issues and are detained and ended up being deported. Mutlamin Kujabi, a Gambian migrant in Germany, shared his frustrations with us. So no one is safe for now. If you don't have a document, you are not safe in, the, in Germany right now. And, you know, rumors, people are saying all those people are in the prison. They are drug dealers, they are criminals, they are blah, 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 too much of talk. For my own opinion, I say no to that. It's a big lie. 
It's a big lie. You know, right now, example, let me take the example on myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I have to be deported in the Gambia, they are looking for uh, Mon Lami Kujam, MLK. Mm -hmm. They don't see me. And I'm part of the group that is going. Example, if it is 100, they already see the 99. MLK is minus from this 100. Obviously, they may collect someone from the prison and replace him there. So at the end of the day, they will say, okay, these, these, these boys are all prisoners, you know. And then it's a big lie. So we say no to deportation. Nine deportation chartered flights are expected to the Gambia in 2023. All of the two have landed in the country. Reporting for Africa TV News, Bintijalo.